tin tops? What are these guys doing in the in the workers' quarters? Hey, splashback! Just leave me alone. This is a nice room. Man, do people have? So apparently, there's like a hope. There are rooms for the workers to stay in. But you, if you work at Grunty Industries, you literally this is your life. You live here now. Yeesh, that sounds horrible. But she says, this doesn't exactly seem like a nice place to work. Hey, dude. Look at the state of my overalls. I'll be in real trouble if I can't find a way of getting them clean. Please find a way of getting my overalls clean. Oh, yeah, I'll get right on that. Hey, look, it's a poster of Humba Wumba. Ouch. Yeah, we can't blow it up, but what we can do is rat a tat rabbit. There's a sign back here. Try and look in here for the filthy workers! One, outside the back door. Two, on floor one's compactor. Three, floor two. Four, floor three's boiler plant. Five, floor five. Six, in the room next door. These signposts will be helpful for letting you know where a bunch of things are. Yeah, this room is locked normally, so we have to... Apparently, they... <laughs> there's a hole in the wall, and they're just like, It's okay, we'll just put a picture of Humble Wumba on the wall. Nobody will notice the difference. Check it out. They actually programmed in reflections, which is really cool. I like that. It's the little things. There's the banjo banjo tui fridge, which we can't do anything with. Ugh! Must be the curry from last night. Oh, I don't need to hear that. However, one of these uh ouch. Get out of here. I forgot how annoying the tin tops are, actually. If you look closely, there's a crack in the door. You will die. You can grenade egg this door open and get out of here. Look who it is. Hey there, Banjo. Wago, what are you doing here? Well, Grunty ripped me out of her mansion and stuck me in here. Boy, you should see the mess some of those workers make. I don't want to know. Anyway, someone thought it funny to fill me full of paper. I really need unblocking, if you wouldn't mind. We do, actually. I'm all blocked up. Help! Then call a plumber. I think Mario's free at the moment. I don't think he actually does that kind of work anymore. I love how they put in a Mario reference in this game. Yeah, as gross as it is, we gotta do this. Did that help? Yep, I can feel a movement in my U-Bend. You'd better stand back. This could be messy. Yeah. You used a spell book page as toilet paper? It's a Cheeto book page. No use to me, though. I only like the quilted stuff. I guess you can have it. Yeah. Or not, man, the, the one we got from Canary Mary has nothing on that. Ouch! Wow, these guys are annoying! I forgot how annoying the tin tops are. Okay, well, that's one point against this world, I suppose. We are on Death's Door, and we, we have a lot of health... We have a lot of maximum health increases, so... So here's another one of the filthy workers. Please find a way of getting my overalls clean! Well, that's what happens when you have to live at work and only have one set of clothes. This here is... The Floor 1 Trash Compactor. Ooh, let's walk on in. Intruder in the Trash Compactor. Clean up droids report to Floor 1. This is not a place you want to be in right now. I'm just gonna say we are going to die if we stay in here. Let's get out. <laughs> There's a doorway down here. Aircon plant, eh? Let's check this place out. Basement air conditioning plant. So here we've got a giant spinning, uh, pipe. A bunch of toxic waste, a blue light. 
And over here... Huh, there's something over here. Man, the music is really quiet and eerie in here. You can sidle on over this way. No! No, the pipe knocked me down! And that's an instance of fallproof coming in handy. It doesn't matter. Oh. We just got eaten by the green monster. And now this warps us back to the train station. Thankfully, it's pretty close by, but uh, yeah, you can see this world can be kind of difficult. I'm not, I'm not denying that this is one heck of a difficult world, and definitely one of the most difficult worlds in the game. I still don't think it's as tough as the next world, but maybe that's just me. Anyhow, we're going back to the air conditioning plant. And this right here might be the single most ominous door I've ever seen. We've got blaring red lights near it, it's a shut, and it says danger fire inside. That is not a door I particularly want to go in, but and thankfully we can't go in there right now. In fact, that is literally one of the absolute last places you can access in this world. Not much fun. But yeah, that's definitely a little disconcerting. Let's go through this way, shall we? It's a long vent tunnel. Got glass pane here, giant fan, and hey, there's a jiggy behind the fan. This is a new enemy type, nuts and bolts. Yes, I'm liter they are literally called that. Hardy Har, reference to the the Xbox 360 Banjo game. So as you can see, we're getting gradually blown back by this giant fan. There's a doorway over there, but I'm not sure if we'll actually be able to get inside. We can make it this far, but at this point the fan is too powerful for us to actually make it into that door. We're gonna have to find a way to shut off the fan before we can actually access that door. Such a shame. Yeah, so it looks like there's a door that can open here and that'll lead to the giant fan. Because this, this spinning pipe here is also spinning that giant fan. And it looks like it's connected to that uh, frighteningly ominous door. That'll be something to remember. Anyhow, we still haven't even been able to open the main door yet. And speaking of main door, here it is on the other side. That's the main entrance. Ah! You dare try to hit me with a wrench? Zenerve. So there's a banjo switch and a kazooie switch here. We're gonna have to push both of those at the same time. That looks nice. But before we can access there, there's a new move for us to learn, and we only need 505 notes. Claw Clamber Boots. Wear these boots and no more falls, as they let you walk up walls. Let me tell you how it's done. Kazooie's footprints up you run. That'll be all. Dismissed. So that teaches us the Claw Clamber Boots move. They're the last type of shoes in the move. They are the move that we need in order to actually beat the game, which is why you need to come to Grunty Industries. It's also the last move that you learn as Banjo and Kazooie together. All other moves from now on will be either for just Banjo or just Kazooie. Fun! So the Clockgramber boots are kind of interesting. You wear them and you'll be able to walk up the walls that are marked with Kazooie's footprints. You've seen them lying around a couple of times, but that's kind of what they're referring to. They're pretty fun to use. And actually do have utility other than just... <laughs> They have more utility than just, they let you jump high. Although that's generally what they're used for. Anyhow, we can finally open up the main entrance now. So despite what it looks, it looks like there are two main doors here. One all the way on the outside, and then one, a second one that's we're opening up here. And then there's a warp pad in between the two. 
Yay, we finally got the first warp pad of the world. There are five warp pads in this world, but they're pretty spread apart just because of how absolutely massive the world is. So here are the claw clamber boots. Not much we can do with these. Although if we go over here, this is the one part we haven't really explored yet. The waste disposal plant. Access denied. Door has insufficient power to open. Battery required. So yeah. There will be parts of Grunty Industries that are locked off to us until we can put a battery in this charging area right here. So yeah, as you can see, this whole this whole world, is just most of it is shut off from you, and it takes you quite a long time to slowly open the different parts of the world and access all of it. And a lot of people really don't like that, they think it's just unnecessary padding. Again, I think it's really cool. It's it's so unique, and it really sets it apart from the other worlds, and it's, it's honestly genuinely fun, at least for me, to be able to explore a lot of it. So this area looks pretty ominous too, let's go inside. This right here is the elevator shaft. It's not working, but we can at least climb up this cable. And this is one of the tallest rooms in the entire game. So blue marks the first floor, green marks the second floor. Whew. Let's go inside. Unfortunately, there's a door blocking the way. Yeah, you can't actually use the elevator to get to the different floors, but we're in the floor 2 electromagnet chamber. We can see the outside world, but we can't actually do anything here. <laughs> Let's try to go to the floor free. Again, same issue. Doors blocking the way. The boiler plant to floor three. We can see some water. And we can't really do anything else. Yeah, so this is frustrating to people that, like, so much of the world is completely and utterly closed off at the beginning. And you need to spend a very long time figuring out how to open all of these different parts just to explore the world. But again, I think it actually works super well. I love this aspect of the world. And that, like, you really have to explore and solve puzzles to unlock parts of it. It's really great. I don't think I'd want every world to be like this, but if it's just one world, oh, it's it's fantastic. And the same deal, floor four is also sealed off to us. And why is the screen shaking? Let's get out of here. Yeah, so there are full four main floors, and uh, all of them except the first one are kind of sealed off to us. Oh wait, we can climb. We've got to climb it higher, climb it higher. Nothing on that side, but there's a light-up area over here. Two signs. Unscrew bolts with the bill drill! Okay. The twin chimneys both have a prize! Cool. And now, we can take advantage of the fall-proof cheat. Geronimo! I do believe that is the highest fall in the entire game right there. <laughs> Falling all the way down the elevator shaft, which with fall proof you can do for fun. Yeah, so this world is still uh, sealed off to us. So, first thing we're gonna do is we gotta get that battery to power up the area. And fortunately, we saw there was a battery right above the entrance to the world, and we now have opened the main door. So we're gonna split up, have just Banjo go through here, and we can use his taxi pack ability in order to get the battery over to that waste disposal plant area. This is also where we're going to take advantage of the pack wax secondary jump. Definitely helps with navigating the outdoor area. The battery can electrify itself because it's sentient, because of course it is, but our pack wax can deal with that. Scoop it on in our pack, and we're going to taxi it over back to the fl uh, floor one. So there are four batteries in this world, and then four places that need to be charged. You can take any of the batteries to any of the places, but uh, <laughs> similarly to hatching to the final uh, egg that Terry had closest to his nest, it helps to minimize the amount of 
taxiing you need to do by taking the batteries that are closest to the areas they need to charge and not taking this one to another place. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do a lot of traveling as Solmo Banjo, which is not that fun. It's pretty slow. Also, we can already just get cl relatively close to it. How dare you? He didn't even drop health for me. Yeah, we don't even have to jump up there. We can just throw it up from down here. Additional battery power channel to door access is now granted. Excellent. So now we have access to the waste disposal plant. Let's hop inside. Bum 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 b